two ways to remove the background in DaVinci Resolve. So I've got this talking head shot here and we're going to remove all of the background. You might want to do this if you want to replace the background or create a green screen effect. The first thing we're going to do is click on this clip and then come over to the color page. We're going to open up the effects and we're going to search for the depth map effect. Drag the depth map effect onto this node and if you have a fast computer, make sure you set quality to better. It's just going to give you an easier result. What we want to do is make the background go black, but everything we want to keep white. To do this, click the adjust map levels tick box and then adjust the far limit until the background is completely black and the near limit until everything you want to keep is completely white. If I zoom in here, you can see we've got this jagged outline. Come down to the map finesse section and turn on post processing. Then adjust the post filter until you've just got a little bit of softening around the edges. And if you want to, you can also add some blur, but don't add too much. Otherwise, the background won't completely disappear in a clean way. You can come back and adjust these things later. Close the effects and right click in this area here and choose add alpha output. This adds this little blue dot here and then drag a line from the blue square of the node to the blue circle. This is going to use the alpha output to remove the background. In other words, anything that's black. Let's head back to the edit page and see the effect. If you don't see your foreground image, that's because you haven't turned off this depth map preview. If you untick that, then you'll see the actual image. And notice now the background has completely disappeared. It's gone black because it's an alpha output. And what that means is you can come back to the edit page, move this up one track, and then drag something else underneath. One thing you can see with this first method is that we don't actually have the background removed down here. Let's see how method two can make this process easier. I'm going to make a copy of this clip move the playhead over it and come back to the color page. And I'm gonna right click on this node and choose reset node grade to remove all of the effects. We're still gonna keep this alpha output, however. For this version, we're gonna make sure we're in the magic mask section down here. Choose a frame that represents the whole object. And now I'm gonna draw around me and also this desk because we're gonna to wanna to keep that in the foreground for this example. Come down to these choices and click better if you've got a faster computer and then click this button here to show the mask overlay. Everything in red will be kept and everything that's not in red will be deleted. If I zoom in here with the mouse wheel, you can see that we've selected some of this chair in red, which we don't want. Come down here and choose this little dropper with the negative sign and then draw over the areas that we want to delete. You can see now that that chair is no longer red. You can do the same thing for this part of the chair, hit Z to zoom out. And now you need to track this mask forwards and backwards. Come down to the tracker in the magic mask and click these two arrows here and then wait for DaVinci Resolve to do its thing. Now you can see here, if I just stop track, this area is no longer red. So we want to make sure that this area is selected. Remember, anything in red will be kept. Anything not in red will be deleted. I'm going to come back here and click on this plus dropper, and I'm going to make sure all of this area is also selected along with my t-shirt. I'm going to click the forwards and backwards tracking again. And again, if you see areas like this, you need to include them. Once the tracking's finished, come back to the edit page. And now you can see the background has disappeared. It's turned black. And so let's just go and copy the background and have a look at this. So you can see down here at the bottom, we've actually removed part of that map, which we didn't want. I'm going to show you a trick now. Make sure you're over these items here and then come back to the color page. Just going to close the effects to make a bit of space. And I'm just going to right click on this node, come down to add node and choose add serial. We'll fix it up in a minute. Right click on anywhere in here, choose add node and then choose key mixer. Click this blue line and hit backspace to delete it. Join the blue line from node one to there. Delete the node between these two items and drag the new connection here. Drag the blue node to this mixer and then from the output to this mixer to this blue node. Right click in this area, choose add node parallel mixer and then join up the two green outputs. Click on this one and hit backspace to delete it and join it up to here instead, and then join the green to the green output dot. In this node here, we're gonna add another mask, and this mask will be added to the mask from node one. And all we're gonna do in this mask is we're gonna come over to the power windows, 
find a frame where things aren't working quite as well. We're going to choose the pen tool and then we're going to draw across this entire desk. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom out and we'll just join this up to add this mask to the magic mask that's already included in node one. If I turn off the overlay and zoom in, you can see now that that area has been included in the foreground. And let's head back to the edit page and have a look at this one last time. Now we've got the background being deleted and replaced. If you do see slightly strange effects around the edges, you need to come back to the color tab, back to the magic mask tab and select node one, and then change all of these settings to clean up the magic mask around the person. For loads more DaVinci Resolve tips, check out this playlist and please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.